Good evening and welcome to the ITV News. You little shit. <laughs> okay, so what is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy, you know us as King in it, and we're back with a little life update 2017. I feel like we need to tell you guys what's been going on because it's actually been mental. Craig, do you want to let the people know? Well, there's a, we've written a list because there's so much stuff we don't want to forget. But we're back home now. Yeah. As of right now, people keep saying, when are you back in the country? We've been back here. Well, actually, we got back last week from Iceland. Yeah. So, where do we start? Where, I, I, where should we start? I know where go we want to start. Go on then. We going to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to be in a TV advert for Curry's PC World. So, they want us to promote their new laptop that they've got, the Lenovo iPad 320S. So, we went out to London uh, and they were like, right, we're going to start shooting at 5.30 in the morning. And I was like, just tell them no. Tell them we can't make it. It's not going to happen. So, yeah, basically, we, we thought it was just going to be like one guy with a camera. We'd be in and out in half an hour, but it was like full blown. It felt like we were on a movie set. There was giant lights, there was like extras, there was runners, there was a director, there was like film crew, it was crazy. And uh, it got to like two hours 45, I think. And I was like, I just looked at Craig all of a sudden, I was like, I don't feel good. And I just knew I was gonna faint. So I was like, didn't know what to do with myself. I, I headed for the door and sort of just went down. <laughs> Fainted on set, didn't she? <laughs> All she wanted was a biscuit. So the PC World stuff is basically a TV advert, then we've done a lifestyle video, which we went to Holland to film with our mates Nick and Hannah. So there's a vlog coming for that, so we're working on that one. Um, and we did two other pieces for Facebook in Iceland. So they told us originally, they're like, do the lifestyle video in Holland, and then come home and we'll film you in Amy's house. Yeah. And then whilst we were in Holland, they were like, how do you feel about flying to Iceland? And we were like, okay. I don't think they knew we just got back from there, but we were like, yes. Like, Iceland's our favourite thing ever, of course we'll go back. And then Amy had another meltdown, the day of shooting. So we had one day to film, there was a crew of like 10 other guys from a thousand heads, really nice. Woke up in the morning, and Amy's like, I haven't had any sleep, I feel like shit. No, I do, I do, I get, I get the... <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, Amy got better, we picked Amy up, and we did the filming. So we filmed at Waterfall, it rained all day, and then we filmed in this like creepy Icelandic villa that the guys rented but yeah. there's a vlog for that we filmed it all so that's coming too so we're working on that yeah what else have we got what what else has been happening we finished the icelolly.com stuff so yeah. we did our last stint up in leeds just yesterday we got back from there wasn't it yeah and we filmed all of that behind the scenes stuff so we're going to put a video together over the last three months we've been going up there and filming little pieces so that's coming too one more iceland vlog to go is it just one yeah the secret solstice one so this is the festival that we went to in Iceland back in June, which we got VIP tickets for because we're just so spoilt. The other Iceland vlog is the behind the scenes PC World stuff. So that's coming too. So what's next on the itinerary you ask? Well, we have got a really cool Welsh road trip booked in for in, what is it? Two weeks? 5th of September, yeah. For a week. So we're gonna rent an old school VW van, which Hopefully. is sick. Hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna go from the north down to the south on the west coast because there's a new like driving route that's gonna be opening in uh, 10 years. So uh, they're obviously gonna be a big project and they're working on it now, Visit Wales. So we're teaming up with those guys and we're gonna do that. We're staying in some pretty wicked places. You have to watch it. It will 100% make you wanna to come to Wales. But uh, during all of this, all of our wackiness, we've still had to remember, we've got a half marathon to train for. Does this look like a girl who enjoys running for the half marathon? I don't bloody think so. So I went out yesterday, did five miles. Surprise, I survived. It's hard, but I know I know what I'm doing it for. It keeps me grounded, keeps me going. When Amy does this, she's like, I'm rubbish at it. Who runs five miles? Do you know what I mean? She's doing well. But we just want to say thanks so much to everybody who sponsors us so far. We've raised over 200 quid yeah. and our target's a thousand pounds. So we've got like, what are we now? August, September. So we've got a month left. Oh, it's just a month. So this is why we're partly why we're doing this update, just so you can kind of see. Roll a little montage. This is us running. I'm absolutely dying. Three miles. I'm over halfway. I'm on my way back. I got some great music on. I feel so much better. And my legs have just come into play now. They're not feeling as burny as they were. I don't know. I feel great. First three miles, 
I've ever run in my whole life. And that was really hard. I got a long way to go, but the best part about this is I finished on the beach. So I'm gonna go for a swim because I am dripping head to toe. One mile. Two miles. My knee is on fire. Can't stop though. I've got to hit six. Come on, baby. Five miles. I feel like crying. My legs are on fire. Even my legs are giving up now. But I gotta keep going. I gotta get to six. We would absolutely love it if you would sponsor us. Like it really means the world to me. It makes me feel like people are watching our story. They're watching how we're progressing. And you know, they wanna be involved in this kind of stuff. And it means a lot. It does. We've had some awesome comments. People messaging us like, guys, this is such a great cause. Like it really yeah. means a lot to me. Yeah. So yeah, thanks to everyone who supported. If you wanna support us, the link is in the comments. So go check it out. It's on the 1st of October. So if you live local, yeah. come to Cardiff. Yeah. And you can just bring watch, donuts. watch the run. Bring donuts. bring donuts for the finish. I just have to say one more thing as well. God bless the people who have sponsored us already. Just just put a pound in. That's all I want to say. Just stick a pound no, in. No, chuck 20 quid in. No, because I feel like that's a lot of money. And like we're happy to have a pound. If we have a pound off more people, then that the love can be spread. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Also, alongside our training, God bless the people from Run and Become. There's a shop in Cardiff that fits you for shoes. They watch you run in the street and they're like, they can tell you what shoes you need. So we went in there, we tried on about eight different pairs. We were running up and down St. Mary's Yeah, street. when I was running up and down, this drunk man was running next to me <laughs> and he was just like, <laughs> and I was like, mate, you got the wrong shoes on. You can't be running. I don't think he knew what I was doing. But yeah, they really hooked us up in Run and Become, so we got brand spanking new running shoes, which are really helping. Yeah. And what they've said to us is if you are running the Cardiff Half Marathon, if you've got your registration email, go in there and they'll give you 10% off shoes to run, or I think it's just shoes, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing how, how much that? they change you as well. Yeah. Mine are so soft, like it really, she like looked at my structure of my foot and everything, and I've got, what's that bit there? That's like a... A wonky foot. Basically. So there you go. So 10% off at Run and Become. Go check them out. We're running with Big Moose, top charity. Check them out. Uh, for Mind, which is the charity they're raising money for this year. So that's us. That's a life update. Sorry if we've babbled too much. but uh, Praise babbled. I haven't. I just wanted to fill you in. So vlog's coming soon. Thanks for all the love. Hope you're all marvellous and you're enjoying the videos. Share this video with your nan and her turtle. If you've got any questions, guys, leave them below. We'll, we'll answer them. I'm thinking maybe we might do a live Q&A soon. Yeah. Because uh, it was crazy the response we had last time and I was like, do we know this many people? <laughs> it was really cool, but we didn't get through everyone's questions because there were so many popping up. And then the Nazi signs started coming and we were like, well, we need to shut it down. So uh, thanks for having us, guys. One, two, three, bye. bye.